Hey, g'day big bikers. Well, I'm out in the car. Um, there's a whole heap of stuff happening at home and it's very noisy. Uh, it's pouring down rain, so I'm, I'm not riding. So I'm out in the car, just uh, doing a few chores. I thought I'd just make a, a quick video, give you a quick update. A lot of my subscribers are more mature. It's, they're mature aged and they get a little bit older. Flexibility changes, arthritis in certain areas, and your capacity to, you know, move your neck and your shoulders on a motorbike is reduced a little bit. And so things like shoulder checking uh, when you're riding in traffic can be a little troublesome. But I got sent something by a company called Inov. I'm going to go this way. I got sent something by a company called Inov, as in innovation, I double N O double V, and they've asked me to do a review on a blind spot monitor for motorbikes. Now, I know that a lot of the late model bikes that are coming out now have actually got blind spot monitors in them anyway. So, the latest model BMWs, the latest Triumphs, they've all got blind spot monitors in them where the, the, the mirrors light up and, and, and the same as in your car. So, if you've got blind spot monitors in your car, you know what I'm talking about. But, Innov have come up with an aftermarket blind spot monitor. They call it the third eye. I really like it. So, it's, it's not the brown eye, it's the third eye. And, although it is pointing in the same direction. Anyway, the third eye is their um, blind spot monitor radar. Let me just pull over and I'll show you. It is really, really cool. It's a, it's a, it, it's a really, really cool piece of technology and the software that's in it, because it's all driven by software, obviously the, the radar itself is just a chunk of hardware. Um, let me just pull over because this this is very very cool oh, maybe it's tricking off so that's that's the unit there and um, let me just open that box up so this is this is the radar unit this tiny little thing there so that's got the capacity to look up to 100, 100 meters behind the bike and it'll pick up up to 64 individual vehicles in in that area, area oh, what am i doing i'm going to show you the rest of it it'll pick up up to 64 vehicles in that area behind your bike in the lanes behind your bike and then what it does is it comes up on this display and get focus on that pulls up on that display which you mount on your handlebars or on the on the you know the front area of your bike and indicates whether there's vehicles in your blind spot. Now I, I'm I'm all for anything that's going to make motorcycling safer and I think that's a great idea because my experience not that I ride on the road that much. I do ride on the road but I don't ride on the road that much because there's idiots out there. I'd much prefer to be screaming down a back road, dirt track, navigating through the bush. That's my preferred option. But um, I've got a touring bike. Um, I've got Ms. Buttons on the back, and I want to be safe so that you know when we're out together on the bike, um, you know I'm I'm as aware of what's happening behind me as I am as what's happening in front of me. Now I don't have any problem shoulder checking and it's a really really important part of being a safe motorcyclist but it doesn't account for all the idiots that are out there and they're getting worse oh, my, oh, my. everybody's so distracted by everything that's happening in their car and their phone and everything these days the radio and these new big displays and these cars are self-driving I've seen some ridiculous stuff with people using lane departure and their own adaptive radar in their cruise control to actually do the driving for it without being aware of actually what's happening on on the road at all so anything that's going to make riding safer uh, i'm all for so i really really like the look of this in off now there's a there's a discount code if you go and have a look at not just that but actually all of the um the, the products that you know I've got there's some really really cool stuff I'll put the link in obviously but go to their website and check it out and if you decide you want to try some of it it's not terribly expensive actually it's really really quite reasonable for the technology that's there but go and and have a look and if you like it there's a uh, code I'll put in the description video description 
information there's a code that'll give you a 10 percent discount uh, and you know a little little slice not from you but from them for every sale just full transparency and um but yeah go check it out it's a really really cool tech uh i'm uh, this is part one of the video i haven't installed it yet um, obviously it's on the seat beside me but i'm going to install it on the 1200 and they're going to take it around and drive it in traffic but from everything that i've seen in the videos that i've watched it looks like it's a pretty cool bit of gear so head over to the website and look up they've got dash cams you know um, bike cams, safety cams traffic cams uh, they've got this blind spot monitor there's a couple of other things they've got it, uh, you know me i'm not huge on technology on a motorbike you give me a bike without traction control i'm very happy uh, but when it comes to safety and putting stuff like this that makes riding in traffic and in and around all the idiots that are out there driving cars uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of this one so uh, go and check it out over and out